Batman's relationship with the Justice League has often been strained, but a new comic book has emphasized that, above all, the members of the League are still Bruce Wayne's friends. While Batman may always harbor some suspicion toward others, interpretations of the character as completely cold and uncaring miss the point. In World's Finest, Teen Titans No. 1 by Mark Wade, Emanuela Lupacino, Jordi Belair, and Steve Wands, Batman explicitly refers to Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Green Arrow as his friends, a departure from certain portrayals of his relationships with other heroes. Wade, in an interview with CBR, highlights this moment and stresses that Batman should not be depicted as a complete jerk. He acknowledges that Batman indeed considers himself friends with Aquaman and other Justice Leaguers, holding them in high regard. This serves as a crucial reminder that, despite the frequent disagreements Batman may have with the League, he genuinely cares for them, a fact often overlooked in cynical interpretations of the character. While Batman may not be warm and open, he is not devoid of empathy. However, due to his past experiences and complex nature, he finds it harder to trust others compared to most people. Since the early 2000s, Batman's relationship with the rest of the Justice League has often been depicted as antagonistic. One significant story contributing to this characterization is JLA, Tower of Babel from 2000, where Batman's contingency plans to defeat each League member are revealed. Batman remains unapologetic even when these plans are manipulated by Ra's al Ghul. This air of suspicion lingers over subsequent interpretations of Batman's dynamic with the League. Interestingly, Mark Wade, the writer behind Tower of Babel, is now reaffirming Batman's friendship with the Leaguers in World's Finest, Teen Titans. Wade contrasts Bruce's camaraderie with the League members with his lack of trust in the newly formed Teen Titans. The implication is that the Leaguers had to earn his trust, demonstrating that both aspects of Batman's character can coexist. Batman may struggle to trust, but he is not incapable of cultivating positive relationships with those who have earned his confidence. While he remains excessively suspicious of others and fiercely protective of those under his care, he can slowly learn to overcome these barriers. Chip Starsky's recent Batman run also explores Batman's relationship with the Justice League. In the fail-safe story arc starting in Batman No. 125, Batman's backup personality, the Batman of Zurin R, symbolizes the worst of Bruce's instincts, including his lack of trust. Bruce's subconscious has even created contingency plans for the Justice League. Although Batman genuinely considers his teammates in the League as friends, the tragedy lies in the part of his mind that never fully lets go of suspicion and paranoia, even when he recognizes its irrationality. In conclusion, Batman's relationship with the Justice League is complex and multifaceted. While he may have reservations and trust issues, the core of their connection is friendship. Batman cares deeply for his fellow leaguers, and despite his guarded nature, he can forge meaningful relationships when trust is earned. The recent comic book stories by Mark Wade and Chip Starsky offer fresh perspectives on Batman's dynamic with the League, emphasizing that he is more than just a distant and unfeeling figure.